Earl on the beat, Earl on the beat. Pastor Swainson here of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Today for my River Valley Report, I got my man RJ Lester, sophomore cornerback for the Northside Grizzlies. He had not one, but two interceptions that he returned for touchdowns. And now I'm gonna get to him, talk to him a little bit. RJ, you played very well on defense tonight. When you caught your first interception, what was going through your mind? Take it back to the house, and then the touchdown looks wild open, so I'm gonna take it back. Now on the second one, it seemed like they were trying to fake a punt, but you were able to catch the interception. Take me through that play. Well, I just, well, don't you call the plays where I run down to make sure that I get the curl route, and he threw it my way, and I just reached up and happened to grab it and took it back. Defense playing very well tonight, holding their offense to under 200 yards. Talk about the way your defense played tonight. Yeah, just hard work, man. We've been having a rough few weeks, and we had to come out here and show what we're really about. Coach Fallor talked highly about you. Talk about the relationship between you two. Man, he's a, he's a great guy. He's, uh, he's good with his guidance. He just helps me get through a lot of stuff, and uh, he's a good coach. And last but not least, this is the last regular season for you and your teammates. Talk about the momentum you have going into the playoffs next week. Yeah, like, it, it's sweet and sour that the, the regular season over, man. We uh, don't get to have many more home games. So, man, man. But we got some momentum going into them. Hopefully, we can try to go get to the jumpers. Well, this is Cassius Williamson. Like I said earlier, this is RJ Lester. Not one, but two interceptions that he returned to the house. And I'll see you next week.